came out uh, the last one they made before the plane crash uh, honky tonk nighttime man was on there I'm a little all that stuff you know I mean I just sit there and go wow I'd, I learned I know a little note for note I got the record I had the vinyl and I'd sit there and just play just try to learn that stuff you know over and over and over again and to me he was just I mean he was just king because he turned me on to the blues rock and roll not so much of the chicken picking but more a different style different tone he was a strat guy and he could also chicken pick but i just loved his playing the way he played his attitude and the way he played his tone all that stuff and steve you know he was he was uh he was taken away from us way way too young i wonder uh i wonder all the time what they would sound like today if that plane crash hadn't happened what songs ryan would be writing but that's another video. But I just loved his playing, Steve, and, and all those guys really. But Ed King was another one I loved. Uh, he was he was in the he was in the band way before Steve Gaines. He was in you know Ed King co-wrote Sweet Home, bunch of stuff, Saturday Night Special, and all that stuff. And I believe uh, Steve Gaines replaced Ed King when Ed King left. There was a stretch there when Ed left, but they went back to just two guitars, uh, you know. But then. Uh, Steve came in and jammed with him because Casey, not Casey, but Cassie was in the band, his sister, and she sang back up in the band, and they were looking for a guitar player, and she was telling Ronnie about her brother. Ronnie didn't think too much about it, but anyway, he came in one night. Uh, Steve did, the story I'm told. And I met him all backstage, and, and they brought him out to play one song because they wasn't sure he could pick. They never heard him. And he walked out with the Stratocaster and blew him away. And then they offered him the job that night. And he took it, and the rest is history, and his life ended way too soon. Steve Gaines, Steve Gaines was a monster, just absolute monster player. And a, a great writer. If you go back and research on YouTube, Crawdad, go up and look at the Crawdad band. That, uh, that was his band. And uh, they had cut I Know Little, all of that stuff before Skinner did, because Steve wrote that stuff. Steve's versions were a little bit different than uh, the Skinner's version, but it was, it was was both of them were great. And as a guitar player, you can learn a lot from Steve Still today. He was just he was just a monster player. And, uh, <laughs>